how to learn web app pen testing. Well, let me just say, if this is a field that you're pursuing, this is time well spent. You're, you're in the right place. Honestly, this is an amazing area, even within pen testing for jobs and pen testing in general. Um, as you probably know, there's a high demand for it. Not enough people to fill the positions. So with that being said, how do you learn this? And before we get right into it, I just want to let you guys know that I have a special announcement for you guys. So be sure to watch to the very end of the video or just go right on ahead and click the link in the description for more information. When I first got into this field, I did everything on my own. You know, basically I, I pretty much learned everything on my own before the days of try hack me before the days uh, I mean, Hack the Box existed, but it was not very approachable. So there wasn't nearly as much content out there either, even on YouTube and stuff like that. I remember watching a few things from like Hack 5 back in the day and finding some articles on uh, No Bite Wonder How To, on, you know, how to, how to do different things with Metasploit and how to take screenshots from your webcam. And I remember when I hacked my laptop across the room and took a screenshot of myself <laughs> on my desktop. I just thought I was the most elite hacker in the world, but I mean, I had no plan, right? I didn't have a, a plan. I didn't have a structure. I certainly didn't have anything that was field tested to where I knew that, Hey, if I just execute on the, on these steps that I could get into this field. So a lot of it for me was really kind of trial and error. And even I'm going to be honest with you, it was getting lucky as well for me because I ended up once I got my first job in IT, not even in cybersecurity, my current boss, he left, went to another team and the manager that came in used to uh, run the cybersecurity program over there. So he was able to really get me in front of the right people in order to get over there. And then once I was there, I was able to more easily figure out what I should be spending time on because I was surrounded by people that were professionals in the field. But before that, you know, if it, if it wasn't for, honestly, if it, if it wasn't for just staying in the game and just a ton of trial and error. And honestly, it took me, it took me about five years, five or maybe even six years of doing that before I got into that, it finally into the field as a pen tester. So like anything, um, there are dozens of ways, like anything in this field, there's dozens of ways to actually learn this stuff, to go about learning it. And they're all valid to a degree, right? So basically this field is nothing like something like becoming a doctor or a lawyer where there's a straight and narrow path. There's actually tons of different ways you could go about learning it. So. In effort to really simplify everything here, I'm going to break it down into two categories for you. So you have free options and you have paid options. Let's start with the free options, right? So with free, I'm kind of lumping in the really um, super cheap platforms that you can use as well. Things like TryHackMe, Udemy, um, any, anything like that where it's only a couple bucks a month. Um, because to learn it 100% free, I don't even think most people are doing that anymore in this field. And these, these platforms are pretty accessible to everyone. So now that you have platforms like that, you know, it has sped up the process a lot, but the main issue with trying to learn this for free is that it's going to, you're going to run into the issue of time. So what is the timeline actually? look like what i would say is that it typically looks like something between three and five years of uh of study on your own in order to become a pen tester employed in the field uh from from the beginner's level so that is that's what i and and the reason for that the reason why it takes so long is that when you're learning this stuff on your own you're gonna have to make i would say like 80 to 90 percent of the mistakes you're just gonna have to make them and figure out that they're mistakes in order to proceed. So you're not going to have the foresight and knowledge of, you know, a mentor or someone that's already, someone that's already in the field, someone that's already had that experience and made those mistakes. Instead, you're going to have to, to learn that on your own. And one nice thing now about some of these platforms out there, like try hack me, they have the learning paths. They've kind of done a decent job of putting a path together for you. But with that being said, it's still 
very cookie cutter, right? And we're all different in our goals, what we want to do and what we want to focus on, what we're, what our inclinations are, are different, right? And so it's better than, than nothing. It's definitely better than it was before where you would have to custom craft every little pathway. But still, with that being said, even though they have multiple paths and things like that, uh, it's still a bit more nuanced than that uh, because we have our own inclinations. We have things that, you know, no no two cybersecurity professionals' journeys are the same and their interests are just not the same. So that's more of like a one size fits all approach or maybe a couple sizes fits all approach to it as well. And um, yeah, so that's the issue. So that's mainly the issue with with the free is that basically even if you get stuck or anything like that you know you're gonna have to kind of figure it out on your own or you know nowadays there are other content creators right you could you could ask me questions on my on my youtube channel i know a lot of you guys do that and i try to provide help whenever i can uh, in that regard and i know that there's a lot of live streamers they're good content creators good uh good pen testers right you could ask them questions as well but the thing is it's still, you know, versus paid, you're not getting as detailed information. You're not getting as much individualized attention as you could be. Let's jump over to the paid category. Now with paid, the nice thing is, is that you get to shortcut a lot of the issues that you run into on the free or super cheap, you know, category. Because the thing about paid is, especially if it's some kind of live training, group training is something that I've become a huge, huge proponent of. And to be honest with you guys, you know, comparing to the beginning story where I did it all on my own, it took me so long. And since then I have learned a lot of things and developed a lot of skills in life by doing the group coaching route. And I will say there is no comparison. There's absolutely no comparison. The group coaching blows it out of the water. And the reason for that is that you get to shortcut all that time. If you have live training, especially with a mentor that is already doing or has done the things that you want to do, then there's honestly no better no better vehicle for achieving your goals than that. And the nice thing about group coaching is as well is, you know, we're as humans, we're social creatures. We are motivated, you know, by the people around us, right? You probably heard the uh, the quote before that you are the sum of the people that you surround yourself with. And that is very true. So you, you look around and you see these people that are on the same path as you, they're motivated. You're less likely to give up because that's another issue with free that I didn't mention earlier is that if you're kind of on your own in your learning journey, you're a lot more likely to give up when things get difficult. Um, and notice I said when things get difficult because <laughs> that's going to happen pretty much instantly. And let me just say that's not something that ever really goes away. This is difficult stuff. Even I run into difficulties. If you talk to any content creator that's being honest with you, they'll admit as well. I mean, they're always, they're always struggling and you know, all the, all the way through. So that's just part of the job. That's part of the job. It should come with the job description really. But, uh, also when you have the, these group trainings, especially if they're live, you know, other people ask questions that are, you know, that you might not even have known that you had. So that is another huge benefit. And now with all that being said, I am actually releasing my new course starting right now, starting today. And that is, uh, you know, today's Monday, February 28th. So if you're watching it later, uh, go ahead and check out the link in the description. There'll be a wait list that you can get on uh, to notify you the next time that I drop a course for you. But if you are watching during this time frame. I'm creating my own course called The Art of Breaking Code. This is my second live training course. The first one was a huge success. The students absolutely knocked it out of the park. They killed it. And uh, they are, a lot of them are continuing on their journey. And, you know, I'm pretty much helping them every single week uh, with the Elevate Cyber Year Pass. But let's just talk about The Art of Breaking Code first, right? So, Really, the reason that I created it was to address all of these problems that I mentioned uh, with the free route, the content that I wish that I had when I was first learning this stuff. So it's group training where I'm helping you guys every step of the way. It's uh, four weeks and uh, you're basically going from zero or whatever level you happen to be at to being able to 
you know, see a pathway to get a job, right? I'm not going to say that you're going to get a job in four weeks, right? It's going to take longer than that. Even with even with the shortcuts of a mentor, this stuff is still going to be hard and you're going to have to put, be willing to put in the work, but it's you're going to leave the course not only with a solid foundation in web app pen testing, but you're also going to have a plan of moving forward after the course ends. You're going to know what you need to execute on, right? Because if you just had a plan that you could execute on and you knew that if you, all you had to do was do this step and this step and this step, and you knew each day what you had to do, then you would be a lot more motivated to do it, right? It's really difficult to pursue something and not even know if you're doing the right steps in the first place, right? I think that's a huge problem behind a lot of, you know, why people run out of motivation is that they don't even know that they're following the right path. So if you work with a group coaching, like whether it's me or someone else that's already in this field and can tell you and outline a pathway for you, it's going to be a lot easier to stay motivated. And then also when you have the network around you, you have more accountability because you have a mentor and other people you see doing the same thing as you. It's a lot easier to stay motivated as well. And let me just tell you the high end of the salary, I would say is around 200 grand, but you could very quickly get to a hundred grand because the, uh, the average salary as it's reported on multiple websites for this field is $133,000. And let me just say remote work is something that is very attainable. Most of the jobs are remote. So with all this being said, how long would it take you realistically? If you wanted to go say, you know, you're bought into the, the, value of group coaching, of having a mentor, doing the live training. So from what I've seen, for most people, it looks to be around eight to 12 months. Now, that time frame like that is because we're all different, right? Some people pick up the stuff a little bit faster than others. But even if you're someone who doesn't pick it up too fast, don't worry. Like if you stay in the game, right? As long as you don't give up, you can learn this. I don't care what your age is. I don't care what your previous experience is. It doesn't matter. You can learn this. So if you're serious about learning this stuff and you want to optimize your journey, go to the description uh, right now and click on the link below. And that will take you to a course details page that will really give you a lot more detail than I'm able to have time for in this uh, a lot of time you're on YouTube. It'll really answer a lot of your questions. And if you have any questions on it after that, you can always reach out to me and I'll answer any of them that you may have. So I'll see you guys right down there later.